Welcome back to Kevin's Kitchen, everybody, and today we're making an Italian pasta salad. You're gonna start off by cutting your cucumbers. You want nice bite-sized pieces, so break down your cucumber however it feels comfortable to you. And you're gonna, you know, set them all aside when you're done. Watch this video till the end for a surprise announcement. Got something big planned for y'all. If you like this video or me or my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notification bells and give this video a like. Check out the description box down below for a full list of ingredients. There you go. Cutting your cucumbers into quarters, I feel like is a best uh, or the best way for pasta salad because you really want a loaded bite for everything. And we're gonna take our rainbow tomatoes here and we're going to have some of those larger ones and quarter some of the other ones. And we may even leave a few whole just to surprise the bite. Yeah, these babies are so good for summer. They're, they're full of flavor. They're sweet, you know, and you saute them, they're beautifully aromatic. They're so versatile. I love these. Yep, slice them on good. Now we're gonna move on to our next step chopping up our peppers and our onions. Once they're all done, don't forget, set them aside, get ready for the big stuff. Now typically with this dish, I always add in a berry vinaigrette and um, definitely I add in some sort of seafood, usually a, a shrimp that I've chopped up into bite-sized pieces. We're substituting both of those things today because the individuals I'm cooking for have allergies to both berries and shellfish. So we're adding in some mozzarella cheese, which I don't typically do, but since I've started this, I'm definitely gonna continue because it was wonderful. And whenever you make a dish for a, a gathering or a function with people that you know or, or don't know who has certain allergies, make sure you make a little identification card so people know what's in this. Gotta be safe for everybody around here. I always choose a rotini noodle for my pasta salad. That's how my Aunt Avis taught us when we were little. That's what we love to do. Add in your minced garlic. This is where I start to make this dish kind of my own. I usually like to use the fresh garlic, but I have to get rid of this garlic and you just don't want to throw it away. So we're going to keep using it until it's all gone. Oh, the smell just hits you so right there and so good. <laughs> Kiss it with a little bit of EVOO, a little extra virgin olive oil for the folks. That's to help keep your noodles from sticking together. Now we'll start to build our pasta salad, adding in our veggies. We're essentially done with this dish. We're just literally gonna add everything in, stir it up, incorporate it well, cover and let it chill. There goes our cucumbers. Oh, the colors. This is such a beautiful barbecue family cookout dish. I'm here for it. There are tomatoes. You could also add in any fresh herbs at this point that you would like. Go ahead and give her a mix. Let everything come together. Clearly you see the amount of steam coming off of this pasta, so this isn't something you're gonna wanna jump into and eat right away. Um, this is a dish that is best served cold. <laughs> like revenge. <laughs> Did I just say that? I didn't say that. Anyway, back to the video. What I wouldn't give just to have some shrimp in there. Cause you know, it's just so delicious. Maybe next time. All right. It does look so, so good. Delightful. 
And now we're gonna add our vinaigrette, a lemon and herb to be exact. You could take the time to make your own. I will cover that in a future video. I was running short on time because this pasta salad still needed to cool. So we just add it in. You could add it in all at once. Sometimes I find adding it in half a time, or half at a time is a better way to go because the noodles are still so absorbent. They're just gonna suck everything right inside. Wow, oh, the glisten, the citrus notes just hit your nose and it's just like, ah. <laughs> um, you could also kiss this with a little uh, lemon zest or a little fresh lemon juice. And it would be wonderful. There you go. And the reason why I added my cheese last is because these noodles were still hot and I didn't want the cheese to melt. I wanted it to keep its, you know, little cubes and its, its shapes for that loaded bite. Um, and if it does melt a little bit, it's not like the end of the world, but you know, you get it, you understand. <laughs> so definitely check out this recipe. Uh, let me know if you try it out down in the comments. So if you want to elevate it and make any modifications to it let me know what you do i love to get that feedback yeah adding the cheese definitely carried this dish to another level for me mm, mm, mm. just want to take the whole bowl and just go to town <laughs> well there you have it friends look at that chilled and ready to eat oh yeah before i forget it's time for my announcement i'm going to be doing my first live cooking special everybody yes my first live so be sure to let me know if you want the deets and thank you for always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.